So in this problem, I'm actually going to describe how to use the idea of G-force and do a little bit of conversions like is on um, one of your classwork assignments. So it says, a space shuttle that can accelerate at a rate of 5 Gs will be able to reach a speed of 700 miles per hour in how many seconds? So what's important to notice first is this idea of 5 Gs. G-force or little g is acceleration due to gravity. And we'll learn more about this later. Um, but for now, don't worry too much about it. We just need to know sort of what the, what the magnitude of that is. So the magnitude of the acceleration due to gravity is 10 meters per second squared. So if something's accelerating a rate of 5 g's, it's five times the amount of gravity. So in this case, the value for our acceleration in the problem is going to be 50 meters per second squared. And we want to know what the time is. Um, we know that the change in velocity is from 0 to 700. Um, and that is miles per hour. So we're going to have to do some conversions. So it will be in meters per second and we'll work with our acceleration unit here. So I'm going to just start there. I'm going to get the velocity here to um, into meters per second. So if I start with 700 miles per hour, um, I'm going to do some unit analysis. Now, a, a mile is about 1,600 meters. So I would put one mile on the bottom and 1,600 meters on the top. And then to go from hours to seconds, I'm going to put one hour on the top. Um, and there's rough, there's 3,600 seconds, or 60 times 60, um, in an hour. Okay, so this will help me get my velocity unit into the correct unit. So I'm just going to take 700 times 1,600, and then divide it by 3,600, and I get 311, if you can see that. So it's actually 311 meters per second is the velocity um, that the rocket ship is going to, or the space shuttle, is going to achieve. So it's going to start with an initial velocity of zero and get all the way up to 311. And it's going to be accelerating at a rate of 50 g's, or 50 meters per second. So, or it's 50 meters per second squared, excuse me. And so all we have to do is just plug and chug now that we have everything um, in the correct unit and understand uh, the values. So I'm just going to solve for t, so that means velocity over acceleration will be t. And so the change in velocity would be at just 0 to 311, so 311 all over 50. So in order for it to reach that velocity, it, it would take 6.2 seconds.